We're just excited about all the program success. We want to do what we need to do. Thanks, Zach. Go Cards. For Wheeling University Athletics, I'm Zach Ziegler. It's time for the first edition of the Patrick Stanton Show here in 2024 as we get ready for cross-country season. Currently joined by head Wheeling University cross-country coach Patrick Stanton. And Patrick, you guys have been going through this preseason. Get ready for your first race here on Thursday. Talk about the training portion of the season and how that went for you guys. Yeah, so far so good. It's going really well. Um, you know, it, it, it's early. We're really only a couple weeks into the athletes being back on campus um, but summer training seemed like, by and large, it went really well for everybody. Um, so far, since they've been back on campus, we're looking strong. You know, some of the workouts that we did both this year and last year, we've seen significant improvement. I think on both the men's and the women's side, the the consistent thing is we're just a lot more aerobically fit. We're a lot stronger. Uh, most people saw an uptick in mileage over the over the summer, um, and we're just seeing the benefits of that. So. You know, it's early. We haven't done a lot of fast stuff yet. And then obviously we'll we get started with the race effort stuff here soon. Um, that's when we'll we'll really kind of see where we're at. Um, but so far, we're in a really good place. And this year, by and large, on both teams, very veteran roster. Men's side, you see Hunter Tomek, women's side, Sophia Tomano, Gabby Bayano, Sidney Hamble. Talk about this veteran leadership and what it's going to do for both programs. Yeah, I mean, on the women's side, we're, we're very veteran heavy. We're, we're really all returners on the women's side. Um, so absolutely, you know, all the girls who have been here, they understand what they're doing. They understand where they need to be training wise. They understand what helps them, what hurts them. Um, and really, I, I think we saw it at, at our Bob Kramer team race the other day. Um, they just know how to race. Like they just know how to run tough. They know how to battle adversity. Um, so that's awesome to see out of the women's group, the men's group. I mean, really we're, we're honestly pretty young. Uh, Hunter is really our only true returner this year. Um, and then everyone else is going to be going to be brand new for us. So uh, it's it's going to be um, an exciting season. And we're really on both sides, just kind of excited to be intentional about just laying the foundation of what we want our culture to be. Because on the men's side, you know, we got four new guys on the team. Four out of five of our scores is going to be brand new um, on the women's side. Um, we don't you know, we return everything this year, but next year we return very little. So uh, both squads had to be very intentional about just being, you know, putting to force all, forth all the qualities that we want to have valued in our culture. And that's something that we talked about a lot at Cross Country Camp at Lance Farm. Um, we talked about, you know, what are some of our personal values? And since we're a small team, like we can get a little bit more personal like that. Um, and then, you know, what we want to take from our personal values, each of us, and bring that into our team culture. Um, so. We're being more intentional about that, and I think that's the benefit of being where we are right now. And throughout the preseason, you got you talked about you got a lot of different places where you got to go to train. Lance Farms, you were up at Ogilvy a couple of times. You had your Bob Kramer Invitational. Having those experiences of getting off campus and just being together with a team, how does that help you as you guys get ready for the mental side of the season? Yeah, we, we love Lance Farm. We, we kind of have a love-hate relationship with Lance Farm because we, we love being there. We love the atmosphere. We love the conversations we get to have, and that's just kind of a different feeling at Lance, but the, the running there is really tough. Um, so it's kind of a love-hate relationship, but at the end of the day, like we've got to be ready to race at Ogilvy Park, which is, I think, one of the toughest hilly, hilly courses at the college level that I've seen. Um, so we, we want to embrace that hard stuff. So yeah, we've been at Ogilvy, we've been at Lance Farm, um, and then you know we're taking advantage of the hills here in Wheeling, but you know, also most of the races we go to are relatively fast comparison to Ogilvy because that's just more typical for college courses. So we want to be ready for everything. You know, we go to Wheeling Park and use their um, like soccer field. So we get some good flat grass loops there. We use the track. We use the roads here. We use the bike trail. Um, and so I, th I think we're doing a good job of just kind of seeing a variety of terrain. And you mentioned on that men's side, four of the five are new runners this year. Talk about some of the guys who are impressing early on as they make their first impression with you guys. Yeah, I mean, from a personality standpoint, um, I'd say everyone's impressing. Um, you know, we're, we're excited to bring in uh, two new international students uh, to the men's, men's cross team this year. Um, we haven't really seen much of them yet. They're actually getting to campus this week. Um, so they are, we're going to kind of be patient with them, allow them to kind of get acclimated to campus, give them time to do that, get acclimated to training here. But, you know, their, their summer training and everything from, um, you know, their summer season and last year, um, are really impressive. So I think they're going to bring a lot of that here. And then um, Shane Levesque, uh, transfer from Erskine. He's a sophomore, pretty new to the running scene. He he just started running basically his senior year in track. 
Um, so he's going to continue to get better exponentially. But we're being patient with him, too. He's coming off a major injury. So, you know, we're not, we're not rushing him um, to be in phenomenal shape right now. We're really just kind of, again, laying the foundation. So for those new guys, you know, we're really in a position where I think we're going to be stronger and deeper than we've been on the men's side for the last couple of years. But since we're so young and everyone's kind of in a unique position with, uh, with uh, you know, Magnus from Germany having a summer track season, he's really just getting started with cross-country training. We are kind of in a low-pressure situation where we can just kind of build the habits we want to build and, and be patient with our development. Currently joined by Wheeling University head cross-country coach Patrick Stanton. And Patrick, then we go to the women's side where you're a more veteran group on that side. You have Sydney Hamble, Gabby Bayano. Talk about those girls and kind of how their progression has gone from last year to this year. Yeah, I think the big thing is they build so much chemistry because the three of them have been together for the last, uh, this will be the third year that all three of them have been on the team together. Um, all three of them, I think, have taken a big step forward in terms of their, their fitness. Um, Gabby is somebody who, you know, she's, she's on the swim team. She's a really good swimmer. She's a, she's a true dual sport athlete. Um, she came here to participate in both sports. And so we have to train her a little bit differently. We have to be a little bit more mindful because she's a, an MEC champ in the pool, um, you know, as well as a really strong runner on the cross country course. Um, but, you know, working with, with Corey and with Gabby to just kind of make her training a little bit more personalized and figure out year after year what's going to work better for her and learning from the previous year, I think has been a huge benefit for her. Um, she feels better. She's looking fitter. And so far in workouts, her times have been better. Um, Sydney, who battled a lot of injury last cross country season, um, and then got to kind of show what she could do in track. She got some good PRs, has had a huge summer. She's in really good shape this fall. So she's ready to kind of lead us on that side. And like I said, like they're all just kind of racing with that veteran experience. And, you know, Sophia is another one who has to train a little bit differently. And we've gotten better year after year of figuring out what she needs from a recovery standpoint. And I think she's going to take a big step forward this year too. So, you know, it's just the experience that I've got to have building relationships with them, getting to know them as athletes, what works for them and what doesn't. Um, so I think we're, we're really kind of hitting a high note with all three of them. And you guys kick things off right away in conference play. You go to the West Liberty Invitational here on Thursday. Getting a chance to see that conference opponent right away, how's it going to help you set a milestone for later in the year when you guys get ready for the MEC championships? Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, we're going to see a, a couple of conference schools there. Uh, Wesleyan's going to be there. I believe Glenville and Fairmont are going to be there. Um, so it'll be fun to get to see them all early on. You know, it, it is just an early season race, and, you know, the way cross country always works f for all these teams is we want to we be peaking in late October. So we take these early season results with a grain of salt um, and the fact that we're not, you know, racing with the full squad um, on the guys' side with those guys coming in this week. Um, we're also taking our team standing with a grain of salt, but, you know, we really just kind of want to get a good race effort under our belts, kind of see what we need to work on from, like, a mentality and racing standpoint. Um, and, you know, the Bethany course, um, which is where they do the West Lib invite, um, is a hillier course. So getting some experience racing on a hillier course is going to get us more prepared for Ogilvy. Um, so we're really just kind of taking it as a learning experience. And but, you know, we're excited to race and kind of see where we're at. And finally, talk about some of your goals overall for this season for both teams and kind of how you're going to progress up till October. Yeah, just take a step forward on, on both sides, I think, from. Uh, team standing standpoint at the MEC championship we want to take a step forward um, and then for the returners we want to see development um, and I think we're in a position for all all four of our returners to see really strong development Hunter Tomich is in great shape Sydney's in great shape Gabby and Sophia are definitely looking like they're going to take a step forward they're in great shape um, so we want to see development out of them and then for the the new guys um, we just want to see a good effort. We want to get to know them as athletes. We want to see some progression throughout the season and just kind of see them get comfortable. Um, I would love to see them take a big stride, um, but a lot of them are pretty new to racing this distance. So we want to kind of give them time to learn that. But from where they're at right now till October, we just want to see that good consistent progression. And I think we're aligning training to make that happen. Um, so we just have to kind of see their mindsets stay strong throughout the, the ups and downs of the season. Thanks, Patrick. Good luck in this opener. Can't wait to see you out there. Cool. Thanks, Zach. For Wheeling University Athletics, I'm Zach Ziegler. We're just excited about all the program success. We want to do what we need to do. Thanks, Zach. Go Cards.